Good morning everybody and on behalf of Bryson Charitable Group it's a great privilege to welcome you to be with us this morning. At Bryson we exist to build the best possible future. We exist to liberate the potential of people who have been deprived of the chance to maximise what is best in them and what is best in their situations. People have vast potential but only when it is nourished, only when people are respected, are listened to, when they're encouraged and trained, when they can experiment safely, when they feel confident and safe in being constructively challenged by new and sometimes difficult and opposing views. For the last three years, the DARE project has made an enormous difference to freeing people's potential. DARE stands for Dialogue About Race and Ethnicity. Our full title is DARE to Lead Change. While division has existed here between two communities for generations, DARE has led by also welcoming and bringing to centre stage people from our own BME communities. Seeking this different, often challenging input has brought fresh insight, which has helped many to see things differently and perhaps to become unstuck and unstuck from a singular lens. DARE doesn't exist in a vacuum, and so I want to share some of the key elements, elements which have been vital to DARE's success. It is funded by the Special European Programmes Board, which aims to build positive relations through all communities across Northern Ireland and the border counties. It has involved well over 2,600 people, and so its reach has been very significant. As diverse as the participants have been, so too the activities, from mass events with a forum to cafe culture events, from city dialogue to many one-to-one -one conversations. These have been aimed to allow people to open up appropriately at their point of need, to share and to share safely. Over 1,300 participants have received training, including uniquely within DARE, training for 45 champions from our own BME communities. DARE is backed by ministers, both North and South, for which we are very grateful. It has continuously sought to draw and inform international best practice, of which more later. All strands of our society have been involved, from individuals to communities and their leaders, businesses, statutory bodies, civic leaders, academics and charities. DARE has a significant international perspective. Over the next two days, we are delighted to welcome both local contributors and also those from Melbourne to Tenerife and from Leeds to Pittsburgh. May I thank you all who have contributed and will contribute over the next two days and indeed the next years on these activities. May I thank you all for daring to lead. I hope you really enjoy the next couple of days and I hope that together we can continue to liberate the potential of every person, of every community, and together to build the best future. Thank you.